I do think about pattern in the work and what it means in a different way. So that's when process and concept, they come together in that way in my work, for sure. I might have did a long ramble. <laughs> no, that's good, though. <laughs> that was good. That was good. My name is Sydney Jasmine Colby. I'm a mixed media collage artist based here in Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. People I started drawing as a child, um, and my mom saw that I had a knack for it. I drew a T Rex, and she was used to like children they trace. So I came down, I said, like, Oh, mommy, I drew this. And she's like, No, you didn't. I said, like, Yes, I did. She said, like, You traced it. And I said, No, I didn't. She was like, Okay, well, show me the, the image that you drew it from. So children draw everything big. So I used the whole sheet to draw this T-Rex. And when I came back, it was like this little photo. And she was just like, oh my God, like my child actually could draw. Um, so when she saw I had a knack for it and I had an interest for it, like that's when she encouraged me to just keep doing it. She found me after school classes with um, Sonia Isaacs. So I started doing that there, always took art in school. And then eventually I went on to COB, now UB or UB, then COB, um, College of the Bahamas, University of the Bahamas. Do you need me to say that line better? No line. <laughs> so. My mom is actually good friends, or at least a family friend of Stan and Jackson Burnside. So I went to their family home when we went to visit a sister because she bakes cakes. So I think we went to pick up a cake. It was just like salon hung with art. And me having an interest in art, like I looked around and I was just like, what is happening in here? This is so cool. And Julia said, oh yes, my brother's an artist. And I was like, what do you mean artist? And she's like, that's what they do. Like, that's their job. They make art for like, not a living, but like that's a part of their living. And from then I was just like, what? Like, this is an option for me. Y'all didn't tell me that that was on the table. Y'all just told me astronaut and doctor. And that wasn't really doing it for me. So from then, I was just like, that's what I wanted to do. And even at a, at a young age, like, I knew that adults in my life would just be like, are you sure that's what you wanted to do? And my mom told me that I would tell them, it's like, oh, well, you could go and do that, but I want to be an artist. When I did the work for any nine, so with the materials, I was still, like, figuring out my process. Like I had an idea of how I wanted to make work, but it was just like, that was, I don't want to say trial run because it makes it seem like, I don't know, very like, I don't say juvenile, but it was, it was by all intents and purposes, a trial run. Like I was just like, okay, figuring out as I went along. So I'd say now I'm way more comfortable with the material and how I use, or knowing what I want to use where and how that is going to work in relationship to the substrate, the other materials next to it, so I have a better understanding now. So I work with a, a bit more confidence in terms of like my process. And thematically, when I did the work for any nine, it was 100% about the self. It was 100% me navigating my relationship to self. And I think like over the years I've had the luxury and like the privilege of going from the micro to the macro. So I've started looking, still a lens of the self and through the self, but like how does that play a part in a greater context? So it went from me making work primarily about my, like me, Sydney Jasmine Colby, to then me making work about my family, still making work about myself, but it's just like I expanded it to be about my relationship to my family. And now this body of work that I'm dealing with is more societal and cultural. So I feel like that expansion is just gonna continue over the years, but it always starts with the self. It always starts with me examining myself and how I empathize and see myself within all of these spaces. So even the works that deal with just me, they're usually dual self-portraits. Sometimes they're not, but they're usually dual self-portraits. So it's just like, how do I see myself from an external view, but from my own perspective, if that makes sense. Um, and that's been carried throughout. So it's just like when it came to work with my family, it's like, how do I see myself in relationship to them? What parts of myself do I see in them? Or vice versa, what parts of them do I see in me? And in these works, I'm looking at 
social settings, but also putting myself in the work. So you'd see like I'm physically in this one, like my whole body's in this one, but in other ones you'd see like little snippets of either like my eyes, my, so my gaze, my mouth, so like my voice, or even my hand, like inserting my hand is to be like included in these spaces somewhat humorously in some instances. Other cases it's, it is like more of like a conscious conversation. Not that humor can't be conscious, but it's like different versions of empathy and view in these works. I was initially just looking for um, old family memories that I could work on because at the time I was really doing a lot of work with family and that so I was like watching it and we got to like my first Christmas and the video I don't know if it was how it was digitized or if that was actually what it what happened but it looked as though my dad filmed over my first Christmas to have this video of him in a bar and I was excited because it's just like I've seen enough videos of me um, but I had never seen him in the space um, or like what that could look like then you know I, I thought it was also like interesting to see like what bars were like in the 90s when I had no ability to go versus now so that was an interesting bit so I was watching the video and I was going through a different bouts of emotion of like, ooh, what it would be like if I, it, it was the moment of me feeling like what it could be for me to be included or be in this space. That was the general feeling that I had and the excitement that I had. So you do see that showing up in the work in a very humorous and like jovial way of just like, I wanna be included like in this moment with you guys or me just expressing what that was like on like a surface level or a base level.